With the masking program in place, disrupting the system through chaos will give it time to work. Let's chase after this. One must be chased. There we go. And now I can hack the shop. Yay, number rank. No new items, however. This one is also quite far. Goodbye. Oh, free. This is will be easy as well. I get at least bronze. Welcome, Genki enthusiasts, to the first and final match of My Over Murder. So far, the Saint Ted Honcho and former leader of the Free World has been racking up wins in our latest event. How do you think it'll go today, Bobby? Given this player's previous performances, I can only expect a great show and a big W in the win column, Zach. I have to agree, Bobby. It seems there's nothing this contestant can't do, including outshining Zinyak's own people with her own powers. Careful what you say there, Zach. Remember uh, what happened to us both after your breakdown nope. at the end of the last show. Oh, well, the Wardens have uh, very big hands, Bobby. Yes, they do. I'm just glad to be able to sit down comfortably again. <laughs> oh, I hear ya. Well, like my eighth grade gym teacher used to say, the probe is no joke. There we go. Oh, you said that one. I hope our contestant is doing better than I am Green. right now. Well, Bobby, seeing the president in action here reminds me of the tales about the king. I was thinking the same thing, Zach. If Benjamin only we had been around to see those matches firsthand. Now, for those at home who haven't heard the stories, what do they need to know now? This was decades ago. Zinyak had conquered a planet of warriors. Much like our contestant, one of them stood above the rest and challenged Zinyak himself. Zinyak threw everything he had at the man, but the king just did not stop. Eventually, vehicle, Zinyak managed to lift the king's mind from his body and bury it deep within his own simulation. There it goes. Since, the king has been looking to escape and get his revenge against our most benevolent overlord. Well, let's hope we never see him again, huh, Bobby? Oh, the king has probably driven himself insane by now. Can you imagine being locked away for so many years with just yourself to talk to? I've had that dream, Bobby. It's cold and it's dark and it's lonely. It's so lonely. <laughs> oh, there, there, Zach. Come on now. You're never going to be alone. Lonely. Not while I'm around. Come here. Lonely. So cold. I can't. Smashing performance by the contestant so far. Smashing. 
I don't think I've heard you use that before. Well, I'm trying something new, Bobby. Uh, what do you think? You know, I've always wanted an occasion to use jolly good. Oh, hello there, little British, are you? That's a classic right there. Hard to pull off with an American Good, accent. there we go. Like trying to use bloody. And arse. <laughs> what is up with Americans using arse? Yeah, arse never works. But I know people who use it all the time. I don't get it. Well, some things are just mysteries, Bobby. I've been thinking, Bobby, have you seen the professor around much? Not since the mass abduction and obliteration of the Earth, Zach. I can't help but think he's watching over us from wherever he is. Like a guardian angel. A sick, sadistic, cat headed guardian angel. <laughs> or maybe he's hiding in the shadows with a baseball bat and a hand grenade just waiting for an opportunity Good. to bash someone's head in and make them go boom. A much more likely scenario, Zach. Oh, well, it's not going to go in at all. There we go. Need you. Tune into this event for. Absolutely. Got that in your stellar oh. commentary, Zach. Well, thanks, guy. You know, you're no slouch yourself, Bobby. I have always been impressed by your wordplay. Well, you forced me to step up my game in order to keep up with you, Zach. <laughs> We're running out of things to say, aren't we? We absolutely are, Zach. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Now, people, Blood's pumping now. There we go, next area. Who is shooting me? People, you. There we go, our next is... Oh. And that's a Good. Three glorious bouts and a fine end to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Zack and I would like to thank Zinyak for his continued support of the show and for sparing our lives so we may continue to exalt his most highest glory. Good, Good night, night, everybody! everybody. Oh, I wonder the harder the knife it would be. And what's next? Yeah. Soon you will be able to say you have done all my tasks for me. After you come talk to me, then that is. Soon.
through the gaps. You have done well. Now I will no longer be the cause of you not completing all the tasks available for you to do. Here is your immediate reward as well. Pleasure doing business, I think. Good. Good. Oh. I had my had misunderstood the level the things. It was level things. Right. So now next is to break my Miller out. I now have lightning, but what I do again? Oh, turn stuff in, into lightning. Hold cost. Ah, no energy is is consumed. Okay. Next is zero cool. Sid. How does that get us to Matt Miller? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. It's gone, Kinsey. We take what we can get. So how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens a gateway. Let's go save a hacker. picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice he'll understand? <laughs> Don't get killed. Gotcha. Self-proclaimed hacker god ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Oh yeah. You know, Kinsey, um, rescues go better when you have a fucking gun. Oh, yeah. You don't have superpowers either. I ask for a gun and you give me a typing lesson? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Thanks. Of course. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. I'll just have to deal with it. What a surprise. Kinsey, fix this! I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Could it be as simple as 3D? Take the space out! Oops. Sorry, <laughs> finger slipped. Oh. 
Oh, hi. Much better. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Uh, just take it out, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. Okay, I say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Three times, actually. All the <laughs> same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond ah. your help. Don't worry about that. Worry about yourself. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. There we go. Oh. Hi. Goodbye. Tanks, or do you have a better plan? Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touche. That's two. One more to go. Been meaning to thank you, Kinsey. For what? Sure, you almost led me into certain death by throwing me unarmed into a virtual hellhole, but you really came through in the end. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. I said you came through. Nice day to be me. Okay, you're too quickly. Next. So it is a take six shots. Kitty, I'm at the last tower. Let's finish this. Oh, oh. I don't think it should be that. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Give me a hand. Wait, let me try something. Order sixty six. Makes a lot more sense now. Bike. Okay, my bike. Well, not really a motorbike in this world. More like a Tron esque bike. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets far upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury. Signifying oh, Sorry, I tuned out after you started boring the shit out of me. It's <laughs> a quote from Macbeth. Still boring.
We've got 800 meters left to go to. We. Oh. Hi tank, where did you come from? These are all bad shots. Surely this or rub would have would be a bit more accurate. Let's go this way. Oh no. Prison. What kind of security does Matt's prison have? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. He'll just have to wing it. Well, <laughs> nothing the two of us can't handle, right? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Fuck me. <laughs> hmm. This can't be good. Before you place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you would willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. Is this some kind of joke? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? <laughs> because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one true the human race would be much safer without you in it the thing is where where would we go considering earth had been destroyed let's go this way also means a lot more episodes <sighs> there's pictures this time wait is oh. that Matt? trapped in technology he doesn't understand in a cyber world he can't control. I'll get you out, Matt. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. It's a, it's a computer. On the screen, one question asks, is asked, What are you? What do you type? I'm in of the sense. Text, text, text appears on the screen. I'm sorry. Contractions cannot be read by this program. <laughs> I am awesome. Text appears on the screen. Wrong answer. What are you? I am the leader of the sense. Okay. Behold my empire. It's not a whole lot to behold. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. The room melts away, giving you a breathtaking view of the cosmos. What do you do? The moon is a pretty boring space. Let's get the planet. The planet appears to be a desert world with, with a radius of 3,100 kilometers. What do you do? Damn planet, I found something. Yeah, I found some element you know. As I fly towards the star, 
You notice all the other stars blinking out of existence. Soon you are all alone in vastness of space, staring into the corner of the purple star. What do you do? Enter the purple star. Ah yes, I'm quite proud of this one. This is what exactly? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. What, a dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does the pirate have a raven? <laughs> <laughs> the dull sound of heartbeat fills the room. Fump, 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 fump. What do you do? Pet the parrot. It's a raven. Drop the pendulum. Pendulum shot off your hand. Fortunately, in some reason, you can grow back. You probably shouldn't do that again. Drink the wine. As it goes down the bottle of air of ancient murder wine, you become lightheaded and pass out. What do you do? Wake up. Is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? <laughs> I thought we were bonding. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. That doesn't sound good. The warm water of the ocean lasts you at your face. You sit up and find yourself on a desert on a small deserted island, isolated, adrift, alone. Make it out of the single corpses and kale. To your surprise, the single corpse raft doesn't hold your weight as well as you had hoped. You must swim back to land. Um I cannot radio. Building the radio was easier than you expected. Syndicated reruns have given you the tools needed to survive. Sadly, you have no place to plug it in. Have out of palms? You don't, you don't have any nails. Martini? I quickly found a pair of cocktail glasses and fill them up with coconut milk. Offer the architect a drink. Well, hello. <laughs> A beautiful dominatrix emerges from the only shadow on the island. What do you say? Let me go. No. Please? No. Could you please? No. Why are you so mean? I never get any visitors. You're the first person that shows up and you treat me like dirt. I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right. She takes a moment to wipe her tears and her fell on leather cuffs. So, why are you here? I want to rescue Matt Miller. Time to get out of this hellhole, Matt. Dad, I wasn't done with, with him yet. She sighs. Then, you have to fight Matt Miller's most feared opponent. And who's that? Dominatrix fades away and before you stands Kilbane. The Saints think they can defeat me again? No. This time, Matty has to do his own fighting. What do you say? Then where's Matt? Suddenly, Matt Mears appears in the ring. What do you say? Let's do, let's do this. Kilbane laughs. Do you really think a wimp can, like Matty can defeat me? Matt Miller cowed a bit. Don't think I can do this. What do you say? Do you want to head up, Kilbane? Oh. And they can beat him, Matt. Matt Miller weakly nods. Alright then. What should my old Matt do? Taunt him. Okay. Lull Kilbane into a full sense of security. Matt Miller winds up and takes take, take a swing, hitting Kilbin in the jaw. Kilbin yells, yells, Ow! What the hell was that? What should Matt do? Dodge Kilbin's counterattack. I don't think so. Matt Miller's dodge fails and Kilbin hits him again, hard. What, what, what should Matt do? I curry. Want him again? 
Matt Miller takes advantage of Kilbane's surprise and pushes him again. Kilbane yells, this is impossible. What should Matt do? Punch him again? With a mighty swing, Matt Miller's third hit in a row sends Kilbane crashing into the ground, unconscious. Matt Miller shouts, I did it! I won! What do you say? Hold you, kid. Matt Miller breathes a sigh of relief. I knew you'd get me out of this. Now, can I get out of this antique of a game? What do you say? Time to go, Matt. A large swinging device appears before Matt Miller. A cold wire connects the two pieces. And a massive, massive dial do not unlock the, unlock the chamber of a revolver. Rest it in the centre. What should Matt do? Pick up, pick up the phone. Yay! like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. <laughs> Why did we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kingsey! Come <laughs> on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Oh, he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. Lovely. 